Conversation will lead to something else. Dicks always do. Are you? Are you is this? It's so rolling. We're, oh, we're doing, rolling. We're just doing it. Um. So I'm Shane, and I'm back again for this. We got Shane back again this week because we had some very important topics you wanted to discuss tonight. Dicks, basically. He dicks. From dicks, where we're at so far. Dicks are on the mind. Yeah. So what were we talking about? That was dick related. Well, it all started with the question of shoe size being related to dick size. Yeah, I maintain that's not true, but I have no evidence to support that. I, I mean, you I've shot done, that down immediately. I've done very little research. Not my dick. We also <laughs> no. <laughs> what I thought was like the moment we were like talking about proof, you started unzipping a pack, and I was like, "Oh, he printed some documents." <laughs> oh my, I wish I had a, a, doss, a dossier. <laughs> just put it down. Here's my dick research. There's like spy pictures of like tennis shoes um, and dicks. <laughs> Look, these are clearly not the same size. Clearly not the same size. No, I don't have a. Woof. Well, I feel bad now. Um, no, I don't think you need to. I mean, no, let's not. Do Whoa, everything hold on, Michael Buble is doing things. I'm just gonna restart my computer. What's happening? I don't know. Are I you can, saw we got the news What's this? Use oh. your computer. Go. go oh yeah. Go, what are you looking for? Go to Google. Well, what's and... Michael Buble doing? <laughs> you need to calm down. No. Fuck. That He's like the second best, <laughs> right after McGrobles. Oh. Josh Groban's son. They're delicious man singers. <laughs> you know you can get cancer in your dick. What in the dick? Yeah, there's dick. You don't cancer. mean like in the prostate or the ball sack? No, actual dick cancer. They have to remove the dick. I would just like if they remove my dick, I just transition into a woman because I'd rather be a woman than a man without a dick. Yeah. Like, I would. I just... But then you'd only make 77 cents on the dollar. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> fine. I already don't have a... I've already lost my dick. What's, what's a what's little left? money? Yeah. yeah. So are we going to... Go... Yeah, we... what do you want me to look at? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's look up, uh, like, penis and foot size. Oh, okay. <laughs> right? Cock rings... What have you been Googling? <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> don't worry about my search history. Oh, man. No, like, cock rings, though. That's serious shit you're looking into. You never rocked a cock ring? Uh, no. Oh. Hmm. I think if I had a penis, I would do it, just to know. Why you not? take... Oh, well, hold on. What kind of cock ring are we talking about? Because there's two different kinds. Um, wait. It's one... One of All them is a I... piercing, and one is oh, like... Oh, no, Oh, no. non-piercing. No, non like, just like the ring that you put on, and it does like the little vibrator. Yeah, you get, that, you, oh, get that. Little, you get a little... That's yeah. the vibrator thing on the top. I think Anyways, Aaron and I were looking at sex toys just, for like an extended period of time. Isn't the whole point of a cock ring, and again, I haven't used one, like, isn't the whole point it like kind of makes you numb and you don't feel it as much, so... So it'll take you longer to ejaculate. And then also, I think well, for the woman... Well, not to brag, but... <laughs> um, I think also for the woman it's pleasurable. Much like a vibrator would be pleasurable. Is there any truth to shoe yes. size equals penis there's size? There's hot dogs And there's just cut up hot dogs all over a shoe. But they're like various assortments of hot dogs, so they're all different colors, different shapes. It's very diverse. Um, they don't care. What's this get to This the... comes from the bold italic... Italic? Italic. Italic. Italic.com. We're Let's... going to call bullshit on some of the answers. Oh, average... Geez. Ooh, okay. Average penis sizes for shoe sizes. Oh. Okay, so there's erect and there's unerect, and it's going to keep cycling through, and I don't know how to stop it. But it's where is this information coming from? Ooh, is I don't this know. An authoritative? And is this the world so, or the okay U.S. U.S. So I mean, it kind of seems like there's a bit of a trend here, even if it's not perfect. I. But what is? But I'm what's the source? Heard. This some guy could just be making this up. I'm a man after fact. <laughs> Yeah, we're not seeing any sources. Yeah, this guy, the bald italic, I don't know who the bald italic is. Now, it seems like it's all pretty much normal, and then you get to size 17, and, it just and it's nuts. just a monster. 
Like, that's where Shaq shows What's, up. That's probably it. There's only one dude. One guy, and it's And giant. it's Shaquille O'Neal, and it just happens to be... Let's go, let's go to a different that's website. That's the thing I don't with, trust this. you know, not to talk about Shaquille O'Neal's dick too much, but I feel like he must have the biggest dick in the world. <laughs> what, if because there was, what if it's tiny? What if he's on small dick problems? No, that's the thing, is, uh, like, there was a whole thing where uh, Shaq left the Lakers... Because he had and, a big dick? No, but oh. and him and Kobe hated each other because of that. They were like, oh, I'm the best on it. I'm the team captain. They hated each other. And while in the midst of their whole rivalry, someone mentioned something about the locker room to Kobe, and Kobe was like, yeah, Shaq's got a huge dick. Like, this is his least favorite person in the world. And he's like, yeah, that dude packs heat. It must be, it must be legit. It must be legit. Cause he's Plus, like, it's Shaq. He's like eight feet tall. Yeah. He's got to have at least 15 inches down there. Jesus. That's a oh. lot of dick. Too much. Chet would not take it. No, not mm-hmm. a, my butt hole. Well, or anywhere. I don't know. My <laughs> mouth doesn't open that <laughs> wide. I like Shaq, though, so who knows? In a 2002 name. study conducted Shazam. at the University College London, researchers wanted to know if a man's uh-huh. shoe size correlated with the length of his unit. That's penis. Measuring 104 men's feet was easy. Measuring their penises was not. That's because there's no perfect way to measure a man's penis. Is there, Chet? Well, as I've been told via Reddit, (laughs) small dick problems and or big dick problems, there are a few different ways to measure a penis. Go on. I'm surprised. Don't they go over it in this? Yeah, I would rather hear it from you. You can, there, there's the flaccid measurement, which is a flaccid penis. Mm-hmm. There is the flaccid yet yeah, stretched penis. So you grab your little flaccid or big flaccid. <laughs> which, you know, or anywhere in between. Uh, yeah. Not to interrupt, but did one of the, the big dudes versus the small dudes, did either one have a preference for how they were measuring? Well, it seems that the universal between dick measurers on Reddit... <laughs> Big or small. It's hard, isn't it? The universal is hard, and you gotta... That's the point! And you gotta press it into your uh, pubic pubic bone, so if you're a fat guy, you can be like, well... See, I don't think you should, because you know what? If, if yeah, you it's gotta not earn accessible, that extra couple then inches. you gotta... Yeah, yeah, but if he does like a couple of sit-ups and a diet... Well, maybe, yeah, it'll be but he hasn't earned it yet. I think that only that portion well, of the penis which is accessible to me should count as... No, like, but here's... Okay, here's the big issue with... Uh, why they do it like this okay. is because that's the only way to standardize the measurement because you're starting at, at the pubic bone and yeah. you're going to wherever if you're saying well it's at some arbitrary you know as much that can be inserted into an orifice <laughs> then you know that who knows where does that start that's valid so i think they the universal accepted method is the, the bone pressed Measurement, as they call it. Bone By breast. bone, they mean your pubic, <laughs> pubic bone. bone. So, huh. that's what I got out of it. Right. Seems to make sense to me. And that's what they... All penis people. That's on, what the penis pros The do. penis pros on Reddit, that's what they say. Alright. Bone right pressed. On. Hard. But then they say sometimes they get anxiety as they're trying to measure their penis and they don't and feel gets... like they're at full... Full hardness. Full hardness. And I then, feel like that's only a problem on the small dick. And then you have other people oh. that are like, I'm harder in the morning, I'm harder at night, this is a morning measurement. <laughs> a lot of weird, these people are weird, these are people that measure their penis. On a, a regular yeah, basis. Yeah, on a regular, and go on the internet and talk about it. Yeah, so, this is... It's a little... I just, every, I feel like most people have okay penises, if they don't, I think you can tell, because they're probably angry people. Yeah. That's why I try to associate hey, with only happy Hey, you just be men. angry because you hate your life. It's also not, that. Not like, everyone who's angry has a small penis, but everyone who has a small, small penis, penis is, is angry. angry. Yeah. Yeah. So you can kind of be like, well, that guy, good. chances he are he, he may have a it's, small dick. It's not a risk I'm willing to take. <clears throat> I just don't want to be lumped in with the tiny penis crowd no just because I'm angry. generally you're not Shane, you're not angry. We know. Are we learning anything from no. this oh, thing you've been yeah. Although the above study did not find a correlation between height and penis size, oh. my own anecdotal evidence <laughs> is <laughs> Who is this? Otherwise. Fuck oh, this, this study. Is just me oh, you're anecdotal. 
it's like, who wrote this? The, all the penises I've seen. Oh my god. The biggest penis I've ever seen was attached to the biggest and tallest man I've ever slept with. The smallest penis? You guessed it. The smallest? A petite man only a few inches taller than my 5'4". Oh, that's not so petite. <laughs> It's kind of... Yeah, but it's, Wait, she's into big dudes. like a height thing? Oh. I thought that just meant skinny. Maybe she means like a skinny man only a little bit taller than me. Some of these guys... I mean, a few inches. It'd be like 5'7". That's average. That's average, man, yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. I think 5 is 5'9". Five, You're like 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, I only so. know what that. Let's Google that. Average height. Average man. American. Average we, we American... Oh, God. Hey, oh I God. care about... I think we it's five nine. Our science right. American. Maybe five eight. Male. Height. We never did like an intro. For Wait, this. do we want guesses? I'm gonna say I five eight or five nine. I'm gonna say five eight. I'm gonna go five nine. I'm like five eight. Six five nine. ten. Oh. For oh, white wow. males. Oh. What about for, for white males? Other males. <clears throat> Probably taller. <clears throat> the black people are tall. <laughs> Well, I can say that because we're going to cut this. Some of them are tall, but... I'm going to leave that in. <clears throat> Such a weird bit of racism. <laughs> the black people are tall. How depressing would it be to be black and... Short. Short and, and also penis. have a small penis. I don't know. Like, like, I feel like that might be a myth with black dudes. And I base that solely off the fact that when I watch porn, it's white dudes. Bigger. Thicker. thicker longer. longer. I don't know. I just want to say it together. It sounds creepy. I liked it. Two in the bush. Yeah. Is she okay? I don't know. Average. What's the average penis? Let's Google that. Oh my god. Uh, we just did that though. No, no we, we googled. We, we googled oh, something we else. Big hands, big feet. Yeah. Wait, let's just say size because I don't want. I don't want it. Size. I don't want to limit it to length. Oh, five point six 5. inches. 6. There you and go. four point eight inches in circumference. Chew, chew on that. <laughs> I'd rather not. Or you know. That, that's you're not supposed to chew on it. Mm. Oh, some people are into some things. <laughs> Damn it. I'm not saying me. I'm not <laughs> saying like, me, but, you know, a little chew, but, you know, chew action. But, you know, a little chew in here and there. <laughs> yeah. That's fucked up. How about that's a thing? <laughs> chewing. Chewing. <laughs> chewing dicks. Chewing penis. <laughs> Don't Google chewing dicks. Yeah, Please like chewing no. Dicks. <laughs> I'm saying penis. Or no, that. Pl- that, no, don't do, <laughs> do it. any kind of chewing. It really does kind of look like a banana. Yeah. yeah this is not, I might accidentally eat it. Thinking that was a banana? I don't fucking... I like to think no. you get, like, one bite in and... Oh, I probably couldn't peel the, the fucking skin what off. Is, this <laughs> may sound a little nuts, but my boyfriend likes it when I bite down hard on his penis during oral sex. I've only done it once, but it felt really awkward. Is this normal? Should I keep doing it? Jesus. Confused emoji face. Yes. That um, sounds There's a reply, painful. but I'm trying to scroll down. Well, the big question is, do you like doing that? Mm-hmm. That's true. So aggressive. Bidding the penis. <laughs> <laughs> Bidding the penis. Now, this is so true about being normal. I love for my wife to even chew on it without hurting it, of course. And Did it he say so chew? Erotic. He said, we found uh, a chewer. Oh, <laughs> oh no. I knew, don't I knew know was, why, but I it's hate the this. truth. I, knew, I hate it. I knew he was out there. I hate it. Where do you stand on that? I'm a no, I'd be a no teeth. I'm a no teeth guy. guy. Okay. I mean, if so teeth, that, there we go. That's all there is to it. it. When teeth happen, I'm like, hey, don't do that. I wouldn't have out. judged you if you would have been like, oh, that was me. I'd have judged me. Love, I'd have judged you. I love the chew. <laughs> the chew. I love the chew. Coming well, from a guy who left-handed. enjoys having his penis bitten, chewed? Oh. it why is extremely so- arousing. I don't understand why people can bite a nipple and see how that can feel good for feel good <laughs> for some women, but can't see that having a penis bitten would feel good for some men. It is the same type of arousal, feel good, of having your nipple bitten, or neck, or any other area that might feel good for some people. It is just way more intense. Dude, I'm with you. I love having my penis bitten and chewed as it drives me completely crazy. Did someone say that? Yeah, it's right here. Oh, I thought it was like your personal commentary. This is like three dudes. Or, yeah, this is... Or four counting the question, guys. This is more than I... Th- okay, well, penis chewing... What is or- really sexy is if she puts it in her mouth from the side and bares her teeth and just barely put pressure down with the teeth while looking you in the eyes and kind of winking <laughs> like she's going to do it. I don't know. Dude knows what he likes. I don't know why I like it. so specific. 
I find it funny when people will suppose... But actually biting down, I wouldn't like. <laughs> there are specific sexual <laughs> kinks on it. Oh my god. Um. Oh my god. <laughs> no, don't let me read it. Let me read it. Don't okay, read it. Okay. <laughs> well, if your BF like his package to be <laughs> That do it not to the point that you're biting it like a hot dog on a stick. Just be gentle. My first question, <laughs> can we post a reply? <laughs> no. What can we say? We have no experience. I love having my penis chewed. <laughs> but you'll be a liar. Yeah, but it'll be... But it'll be fun. It'll be fun. We'll see if we get any responses. Well, this is a serious medical board for people talking about... Is this? E-health warm. Yeah, probably yeah. serious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if there's porn of dick chewing, but... You... What? There is. Hold, please. No. There's no... <laughs> no. It's no, probably gay wanna... porn, if there's any. I can imagine... Uh, what do you say about gay dudes? I'm just... They probably like to chew. Ew. There's, <laughs> there's a porn site called Red Tube. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, I know yeah, that. It's... You know about just... Red Tube? <laughs> yeah, it's just a normal site. Sorry, guys. <laughs> you thought you were going to shock us. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's called Red Tube. <laughs> oh, my God. I forget. I think it's in my like, bookmarks. Oh my god, about. this one's called Bang Bros. Are they brothers? <laughs> oh, That's I disgusting. Forgot about Bang Bros. I'm quitting. The I thought it was like Pornhub was pretty much the, the place. Well, there's Pornhub. There's you porn, X Hamster, and I never go. I've never been to Red Tube. <laughs> May have <laughs> but been to I those have other ones. X videos, Spank Bang, X videos, Bang Bros. I just never Reality Spank King. Bang. Reality yep. Kings are the fucking pioneers, man. Yeah. They are. Uh, of uh, Gonzo I'm porn. I'm so much. Gonzo porn? We'll Google it. Gonzo? Gonzo How porn. Do you know? Gonzo. Gonzo. They're all like, oh, hey, you need a ride back yeah, to your that, boyfriend. That, that's, that's Gonzo, Gonzo porn. Give you, like, no, that's not Gonzo. No. <laughs> <laughs> the whole point of Gonzo is there's no story at all. It's just like, hey, we're in a room and um, we're going to have vicious sex now. Oh, Gonzo pornography, Wikipedia. Yeah, it's the exact opposite of Reality Kings. No, it puts oh. you directly into the scene. So you feel like it's happening to you, or you're doing it? I don't know. They may have, like, uh, examples. Maybe oh. I'm wrong in what I think gonzo porn is. Differences then, between gonzo oh. porn and conventional porn. Gonzo porn films are one of the two broad types of contemporary porn, and they can be contrasted with the other type, which is called the feature film. Gonzo films tend to focus far less on the plots, dialogue, See? acting. See? Yeah, but I, I feel like Bang Bros is still, like, it's more... We don't um, just show you people fucking, we show you why they're fucking. Is that Gonzo? Feature films. Oh, no, well, that's Gonzo. Gonzo. Yeah, that is Gonzo. Gonzo. No, that's feature films. So it's called. Wait, what? I thought, man, I, maybe I had my porn. Gonzo porn is always classified as hardcore porn. Sure. Whereas some features could be classified as softcore pornography. Oh, yeah, Gonzo's the one that's like no story, it's just like here's a room with two people yeah, having people, sex in it. There they go, they're fucking. Are you now. sure? Are you yeah. Uh, we're looking it up on Wait, Wikipedia right now. Some Gonzo porn directors like John that guy Stagliano. <laughs> argue that there is a story being told in his movies, and that it is a mistake to assume yeah, that Gonzo pornography fucking John's inherently like, lacks a plot. He's a real stories, artist. You, motherfuckers. Mm, you just you. gotta tell the story through hip pumps in <laughs> Japan specifically. <laughs> Yeah, they're fucking crazy in over Japan. there. Oh, Japan's nuts. Yeah, they're into so weird on. shit. We can't, I can't even watch yeah, Japanese can't porn. Can't watch that shit. It's gross. Ben Dover. <laughs> this is the yeah. most wonderfully presented porn site. Gonzoporn.org. To the point. Watch free porn videos. Gonzo porn is loaded with hardcore content that you can masturbate while watching them. <laughs> Oh. It's it's very to the point. Yes, it's just it's just, very. There's no fluff. Oh, Steph left the room because of us. <clears throat> She's had enough. She She's couldn't had. handle all the porn. She's like, this is Gonzo. She's Gonzo. Oh, wow, that was informative. That was quite a rabbit. We hole. talked about Gonzo porn without really going anywhere. Going anywhere, like describing it in a way. Um, that so would earlier it... you were saying something about how Reddit is for freaks. Well, if you go to the small dick... What's this going to Reddit small, small dick, dick problems? Yeah. You guys can get a little taste of what I go. was. Taste them small dicks. Yeah. Or you could go to big dick problems. I mean, uh, they're I interchangeable. Hear the small dick problems. Yeah, they're more pathetic. Yeah. We didn't choose the small dick life. The small dick life chose us. See? You already, you already start off. Here we go. Just an opinion from a random girl who found this sub. She's found uh -oh. small penises. Uh -oh. really this okay. sub pisses me off. This sub is so fucking depressing. It really doesn't matter. Normal. Especially with non-conventional Non-conventional. So she's even saying, yeah, the normal sex is going to be terrible, but 
As long as you can enter a girl, then she's feeling it basically the same as if it were a six-incher without the worry of it hitting her cervix. Uh, I don't... So, so, so I, I think she's lying. I have my disbelief. I have suspicions. Maybe she's <laughs> imagining, like, it's got the girth of a six-incher. Yeah, but that's not... I, that um, I don't think. Maybe this is a guy with a small dick pretending to be a woman. Yeah, that's probably it. You oh, guys have that... a lot of advantages over men with big dicks. Hmm. Besides not having to worry about hitting the girl's cervix by accident, you also don't have to worry about her, or him, depending on your taste, not being able to reach the base while giving you a blowjob. There are a lot of ways to have fun in the bedroom. I really hope you guys can gain a bit more confidence in yourselves and love you for who you are. Okay, have fun. All right. That wasn't, hope eternity. That wasn't one of the sad, pathetic posts that... <coughs> well, it's called hope yeah, really right in the start, more. though. Yeah, I was hoping for one of the sad ones. Well, you know... Hey, I would love to hear more depressing stories about small penises, but what's really been on my mind are uh, caged animals. Like, for instance, when you go to someone's house, and the first thing you hear is like a... Oh, hey, you, go to, you know when you go to someone's house and you hear a, a strange noise, and you're like, what, what is that? And you're like, oh, I got a pet ferret. <laughs> like, you're a fucking idiot. Fuck pets. I'm sorry, if anyone here has a pet in a cage, whatever. I think it's fucking dumb. I hate it. That's interesting. Now... Let's say you're on a dating profile, a dating website, and a guy straight out said he had a small dick. Where do we go from here? I don't know. What if I he mean, seems super cool? Right. I think I would still talk to him. Because, I mean, his idea of small dick might be different than my idea of a small dick as well. I mean, no Maybe offense. Maybe he's like, but... it's five inches, it's well, really small, and I'm like, that's workable. This guy seems open, so he'd tell you. I mean, I probably wouldn't immediately be like... How big is it? Well, he it? has it. I think he has it on there. Oh, I thought... No, he's just going to admit he has a small okay. penis. He's not saying it's three inches long. Right. Yeah. Let's say it is three inches. But do I know that? <laughs> you find out before you're intimate. Um, I mean, I guess it would depend. Like, if I genuinely like the guy, I think I'd still, like, give it a shot. I don't know. Maybe I'm not... I'm just, I'm, you know, I don't I'm also you maybe spot. not, like, the most educated person. I was about to say, this is, like... You can lie. Not your area of expertise. Not my area of expertise. Yeah, but that makes it even better. <laughs> when you talk about things you don't know about. I thought Let's I was talk to Kelsey about sex. I thought that was the point of the podcast. Yeah, well, that's true. That is our whole shtick. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know if he's a cool dude, whatever. Okay. You guys, you have a chance. If it doesn't work out, you know, if I end up unsatisfied, uh, we'll cross that bridge when we yeah, come Most to women it. are. I get tired just having conversations with people. Right? Let Man. alone sexual Oof. pursuit. Woof. Yeesh. A lot Good of work. For him. Okay. So, now that we've read a bit of small dick problems. A bit. <gasps> big dick problems. We gotta go to big dick problems. And it's, I guarantee the tone is not gonna be, my dick is so big I'm gonna kill myself. Yep. My penis is so big, I'm worried girls just use me for one night stands. It's wrecking my life. <laughs> girls sleep with me once and then dump me. Is it size of manhood? <laughs> <laughs> well, I notice big dick problem is a lot more active than small, than dick, small problems. dick problems. What I miss? <laughs> We're moving over to big dick problems. Oh. See, these guys are so much more carefree about their yeah. problem. When you have a big dick, it's a little different. Going in dry. I'm going to shoot straight with you. You got a big dick. Can't have it. <laughs> Cover it up. Cover it up. Kids are scared. <laughs> You're scaring the children. Put that Can't away. even be comfortable. No. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no. It can't be. I've never Those wore a Speedo. assholes. I've never wore a Speedo, so I don't know. Mm, I have. Oh. But I don't have a dick, so. Oh, I, 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 I keep forgetting. <laughs> I was like, oh, how'd it feel? Oh, yeah, you don't have, oh. You can't relate. I never even wore them tidy, whitey underwears. Never? Wait, you, Hell no. you never wore it? Hell no. Five-year-old Chet was walking around in fucking boxers? Mm, yeah, I had them boxers. Bullshit. I did. Got pictures to prove it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, just picture, you know, when, you know, there's kids, there's pictures of you in, like, underwear. No, there's you got no like pictures of you when you're a kid. No, but do you just have them with you at all times? No, like you never like. I've got pictures to prove it. Oh no, I don't have them on. (laughs) We we were talking about dicks for like an hour at least before this as well. Yeah, we got. I don't know what else to. I don't know what else to do. (laughs) I don't know what else to do. All I know is dick. (laughs) It's my. It's my. It's why I was put here. Yep. 
Just pull them bl- dicks up our... over me. <laughs> blanket of dicks. A dick blanket. My dick blanket. Mm-hmm. Just cuddle up. It's like, because I know dicks, because I've had one forever. <laughs> if you were in a horrible accident and you lost your dick, would you want to survive? You know, it's a serious question because, and this gets to the root of like discussing dicks, like when you identify, especially when you identify as male, like that dick really means something to you. Yeah. So I can't, I cannot even fathom what psychologically the impact it would have on, on me or any man who identified as a man and wanted that, like wanted that dick, um, how that would feel. Well, some, you know, some people are born male and they don't identify as that. They want nothing. They, they want that dick out. So it'd be fine. Dick off. Whatever. Yeah. (laughs) So it's to them blessing in disguise. But, um, for me, I don't know. It'd be troubling. That'd be troubling. I don't know. Plus, what would you take out for Harambe? But. Hey, do you think, you know how, like, when people, like, lose a limb and they get, like, the phantom limb, do you think you'd get phantom dick? Probably not. (laughs) Let me be honest. This is very, uh, very clear cut. You probably don't. No. You probably you'd hear about it. They'd be like, "Well, at least I get that phantom dick." Well, I mean, who? It's not. I don't think it may, nearly as many people have lost dick as have lost limbs. Let's mm. let's Google phantom dick. Oh well, yeah, you definitely are going <laughs> to lose a limb. You're more likely to lose a limb than a dick. Like you know. Brian woke up in the middle of the night feeling his dick hardening in his boxers. He could vaguely feel its outline as it tightened, becoming more erect, and his wife was sleeping. Oh, oh she, I was reading. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Possibility came. I sort of pushed my hips forward against my boxers and looked for the bulge. She said, and obviously it was st- still going Oh, so on. this guy does he doesn't not have, have a dick. A penis, yeah. But he woke up thinking he had a dick. <clears throat> oh, he had it voluntarily surgically removed. Why? He gone to his doctor complaining of what he thought might be a genital wart. Oh, it was cancer. Oh, that's skin a, cancer. a dick cancer. But it was skin cancer. But it was just on, his, on dick, his dick. And they had to take his dick off. So his doctors were like, we should get rid of it. That was a bad day, he told me over the phone. Jesus Christ. Oddly, since the surgery, he's been struck by an occasional sensation that the penis is still there like a phantom limb. Oh, sweet. Ah, yeah. see, I'm a genius. Look, we found it. It's true. For years, patients with phantom limbs were told the phenomenon was all in their head, but now research suggests up to 80% of people who have had an arm or leg amputated report a feeling of a body part that is not there. For men who have had their penises amputated, the same holds true. Wow. That sucks. Yeah, yeah take the balls this if you're going to take me my sad. dick. That's what I say. Yeah, you don't want any of it? Well, Plus, how weird like would he it said, look? You're still going to have the testosterone building up and everything. But you're not gonna have the dick, so just take the balls too and just yeah. make me. F- um. Plus, I think that the balls would look really weird with. Yeah, I just hang in there. Yeah. Guys. Yes. We gotta talk about some of this not dicks. <laughs> <laughs> what for, else at is least there? Part of this podcast. Whatever. Hey, hey, <laughs> boyfriend. <laughs> you just you do whatever you want with that thing. You keep on keeping on with a, your fantasy. As a dick. fellow man, I'm with you. What I find interesting is the, the concept of the masturbating with the phantom dick. That's okay. what I'm saying. I'm <laughs> okay. saying they're, they. We have a graduate. We have a sliding degree of, <laughs> of how bigotry. much we're into this. I, no, I'm, I'm the most bigoted. I'm saying. In an alternative event, I am the most not bigoted. I'm saying this person may have That's psychological issues. Well, it's not really. I mean, I figure out of the people in the room. I don't know. I'm pretty liberal, but I'm like from a very conservative Christian family background. I guess. So anyway, that's anyway, the thing. So I figured I'm gonna it miss would be Barack okay. Obama. That's what I said yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the thing. Like I've never been impressed with Barack Obama. But but this is man, going down the shitter. If Donald Trump wins the presidency, I'm okay. trying to think of how many inches of dildo I'm willing to take in wager that this will not happen. <laughs> well, oh, man, I hate talking about serious subjects because I just feel like... Because we were talking about dicks and, yeah. for so long. No, this is good. We should... So it's tight, is all I'm saying. I know Say full well that, that I'm pulling that number straight out of my ass. <laughs> all, I'm, all I'm saying is... Well, you're going to have 13 inches of dildo <clears throat> but after President yeah. Trump. You, to be fair, Hillary's pretty much a turd in a blanket. <laughs> He's a piece of shit. Like, everyone wanted Bernie However, and the Democratic Party was like, nah, we're just going to rig it. For Hillary. And this and is thing, what is happens it's... when you do that shit. Oh, I'd support abortion. I mean... <laughs> I mean, nobody nobody is like, yay, abortion. Well, there goes some of the sponsors. Yeah, oh, no, I'm not like... I, when I said support, I mean like... I they could have come. You don't know. We'll get to fucking uh, an abortion clinic to sponsor. <laughs> cock, suck, cock.
cocksucker. You got to say, yeah, like clinched. Cocksucker. Cocksucker. Give us something interesting that we can maybe salvage. This is a good podcast. I don't know what you are just shitting all over it. <laughs> I'm, I'm a pessimist. If I... we set the bar low, then we'll be pleasantly surprised with how well we did once we. Edit yes, it. this is true. We know. Well, That's our goal. How about then, this? Bef- what kind of dick do you think Nicolas Cage is rocking? Uh, I would guess the Nicolas Cage dick is like Nicolas Cage. It's completely average. I see him like he has one of them, like a pretty good size, but. It doesn't, he can never get fully hard, so it's always kind of flopping um. around like a semi. <laughs> Have you ever seen those in porn where the guy has a big dick, but it's just kind of like, he he full hard? No. Oh, yeah. That's like the requirement to being in porn is no. that you can... But yeah, anyways, he seems like he's a guy that never quite gets peak. Never quite hits his it's peak. kind of flopping. Like, yeah. it's hard, just but Just like not. in life. Mm. Well, I would trust your opinion over either of ours, because you're a, a dick, dick connoisseur. Expert, a passion. Not a well, this has been two in the bush. <laughs> I am not passionate You're about still my dicks. Line. <laughs> I'm only interested in them. Obsession. This has been two in the bush. The obsession, the obsession of them. 